In this video, I'll answer your questions about After Effects and my tools. If you have a question, just email me at support at sonnevondyke.tv so I can answer it with a video like this. Someone just asked, the only feature request is if the swatches could be directly saved in Rayna McCollar. The same could be said for, I guess, Rayna Texture as well. Uh, it'd be great to see that feature. So I'm going to show you how you can import uh, different color palettes into your project. So first we need some color palettes for that. So I'm going to go to the resources page and then go to download color palettes. And let's download this one from Blend. And let's also download uh, 2017. Okay, so the downloads came in. I unzipped the files. And then what you see is you have two After Effects projects. So the only thing that's inside this After Effects project is actually the color palette. And that's how we're going to import the color palette. So I'm just going to grab these two, uh, drop them in here. And what you'll see is I'll get two folders here. And without doing anything, if I refresh the script, what you'll see is that I have two additional color palettes here with our colors. So that's the best way to import uh, your colors. And it works the same way with uh, Rainimic Texture as well. So now let's isolate uh, one of these color palettes. So let's say we want to export uh, this datagram palette right here. So what we can do then is we can uh, either search for Ray like this. You'll see all the Ray Dynamic uh, Texture palettes show up. And then we're going to find the one that we want to isolate. And then right after that, what I can do is first I'm going to save the project. And this project's already saved. But it's good to do that because the next thing we're going to do is create a copy of it. So I'm going to save as. Uh, I'm just going to call this project Ray Dynamic Color Datagrams. I'm going to save that in this folder. And then the next thing is I'm going to select the color palette I want to isolate, go to File, Dependencies, and then basically reduce the project only to that color palette. And maybe I drag it out of the folder. Who knows? Cool. And then once that's done, I'm going to go to File and Save. And now whenever I start like a new project, say New Project, refresh the script so it's empty, and I go to my folder and I grab my color palette, just throw it in here, hit Refresh, and there it is. So instead of building this entire system inside the script where you can save and load color palettes, um, that would add a lot of complexity to the script. And it would also have a lot of points of failure where it could potentially break if After Effects updates, or it could potentially be in inaccurate um, if you know the, the coding and the scripting wasn't done correctly. So Keeping things simple in Ray Dynamic Color and just using uh, After Effects as a way to import and export palettes, I think works best for a, a simple script like Ray Dynamic Color. There's also not a lot of new things you have to learn in order to do this because like this just works in the same way as it works with images and video. You just import uh, this, the palettes and then you hit refresh and then it will show up. Comment on the video if you have further questions. You can find more answers on my YouTube channel and also on the resources page of each After Effects tool I created. If you create an account there, you can find lots of other resources and download project files as well. And if you're ready to take your skills to the next level, you can also find education courses and free tutorials right there. Keep learning and take care.